that person. Every Tayo innovation gets copied by the other star yards. Everyone who's anyone has a Tayo. Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Our research station. You speaking. What is your business here? What? We haven't sent a distress signal? Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Really? The high energy research lab. Stay with me, and don't make any sudden moves. 
I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishina. It seems a strict policy, but in a way that is reassuring. Suggests they know what they are doing. Do not worry about me. Go ahead and go. Chief of security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. We're a small research station in the middle of nowhere. Pirates eat places like these for lunch. It is my job to make sure that we are not on the menu. Kaya Patel, our administrator and research director. 28 years in quantum particle physics, or so I'm told. It's beyond me. We'll take the back way up. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh... Nishina... hell was that? What are you talking about? One minute you're following me and then you're just gone. Minute later you pop in out of nowhere looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Oh, oh, thank God. 
finally someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I wouldn't have made it much longer. It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water. But I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here? What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... <sighs> Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic odd... Just disappear! We should... Wait. He's back. All right, we're on our way up. Hughes out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. This way. Director. Thank you, Ethan. 
Don't keep the director waiting. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? No, we don't. Enlighten us. The multiverse? Other universes? You're right. This is well beyond anything we were prepared for. And you have some connection with them, then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gas fire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. Presumed dead. The research level has been locked down since the accident. We still don't know exactly what happened. If he survived, he could have ended the lockdown, but... We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. What you see here are just our living quarters. Most of this facility is deep underground. We have a particle accelerator and extensive research and development labs. Or we did. Not from up here. The explosion fried the network circuits. Without physical access to the research level, there is little we can do. We have been working in makeshift labs for months. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it, and you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting.
Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? It's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and... I thought I'd finally lost it. I'll manage. Look, can we just go? What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess.
Yes. Okay. to clear this out, assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. I was in the lab, Working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The doors sealed. I was safe. From the gas. The fire. Everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way... Maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. It's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Uh, yes, Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. That's right. Has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a head's rigger. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose.
What? Did you get lost in the hallway? <sighs> All right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach, but what in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. It's possible. That's what I want to test. If that is what's happening, what does that mean? How many of these distortions are there? All around us, all this time, and we've never noticed. <sighs> Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. Stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. Calibrating to 90, 91. What happened? Are you all right? So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Uh, no. No, we still don't understand what we're dealing with here. If we found something that works, let's not press our luck. You may want to practice shifting just to make sure this works reliably. Closer to the distortion, conditions may be less stable, if that's possible. Right. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Try not to get lost in the hallway again. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us? Exactly. And when you shut down the experiment, the probability function will collapse. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe, at least. 
The question is, which will you choose? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. Thirty people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe, you don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please keep them in mind. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility, but the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. My journal? Have you been in my quarters? Who do you think you are? The director may have given you run of this station, but I... Wait. Wait. What is this? This entry... It's mine, but... I didn't write this. And the scorch marks... God. Yes. Yes. I do. I can spare a few more supplies. And I'll give you a break on anything else you need. I think I still have a few things I could spare.
lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
Security lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. This is where we belong.